Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 60 Six Day Challenge 7.0, and today is day 55. No, there's no need to adjust your screens today. We have moved out of the desktop version of KW Command, and we're going to get onto the mobile apps. On my screen here on the iPhone, you are seeing two separate apps. There are two phone, two apps that you can have on your mobile device. One, as a KW agent, you can have KW Command, and you see that with the red background and white lettering. And then as a potential consumer, you could download the KW Consumer app, which is the one with the white background and the red letters. So we're going to do a little bit of training on both, but today we're going to focus primarily on KW Command, essentially our platform on your phone on the mobile app. Both of these are available from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. So depending on where you're downloading your apps, you're gonna to wanna to go search KW and find both of these. Just important to know the difference between the two. So we're gonna click on the one with the red background, white letters, KW Command. Typically you would be asked to log in. You're gonna use the same username and password for this app that you would use for the desktop platform and log in and you're gonna see the home screen now for our KW Command app on your phone. On the screen here, you can see at the very top, you've got your tasks. Under that, you've got two prompts about lead generation and who Keller Williams recommends that you might contact based upon activity that they're taking or the lack of activity that you've taken. Next up, you've got your open opportunities. And then finally, birthdays, anniversaries, profit share, and more at the very bottom toolbar. So right now, we're just gonna focus on this home screen. We're gonna go through tasks pretty quick. So you can see that you can click on the do today box and it's gonna show you what tasks that you have available. To get back to that home screen, you're gonna click at the very bottom, the house icon, and that'll take you back to your home screen. Then you can see what's due soon and go back to the house icon, what is past due? And here are those five fictional tasks for our fictional characters that we created way back when, I don't even remember when that was, what was it like uh, day 10, I think was tasks. Um, and we covered those tasks with our fictional characters. And so you could go through from the mobile app and actually click on any one of these tasks. I'm gonna click on the one that says quarterly call with Marty McFly. Do you see how that's a call based task? If I click on that task and I click on call, it's gonna say, do you want to call using your primary device? Also, if you have WhatsApp installed on your phone, it'll actually ask you if you wanna call using WhatsApp. And so we're gonna use my primary device and make the call. It's gonna say, is this the number you want to call? I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. It's gonna call this fake number. We're gonna go ahead and hang up. And since we made a call on our phone using the command app and command recognize that, it essentially says, hey, what do you wanna do about this? Do you wanna mark this task as complete or do you wanna add a call activity and then mark it as complete? So we're gonna go ahead and do the first, add a call activity and mark as complete. And it's basically gonna say, okay, let's put in some data. What was the interaction type? It was a call. What was the date? Today's date. Did you have an, a conversation? Did you leave a voicemail or was there no answer? Now we know that's a fictional fake number, so there was no answer. And I could even put in the notes, bad number, number, there we go. And now I can click save at the top right hand corner. And I have now added this task, added an activity, excuse me, and then marked the task as complete. So if I go back to my tasks, you can see that that task no longer shows up. To see how it interacts with the contact applet, let's click on that on the very bottom. You'll see a little silhouette of a person in a box, the second button over at the very bottom. If we click on that and go look up Marty McFly, our fictional character, well, if we click on Marty McFly, watch what happens. Now we've got the contact record for Marty McFly open with all of his fake details. But if we click on timeline, you're now gonna see that the call activity was logged at 1.05 p.m., the note was added, bad number, and the task was marked as complete. So this is really important. If you've got a lot of tasks, if you're setting up the quarterly call smart plan and you're dialing through maybe 20, 30 people per day, you can actually get those tasks done and make those calls directly from your mobile device using the command app 
and then easily log your calls, log your activities, do all of that while you're sitting in your vehicle, whether it's in the pickup line or you're pulled over on the side of the road, or maybe you're, you're just out and about, you're traveling, you're sitting at the airport, etc. You could easily make all of your calls and knock out all of your tasks right here from your mobile device. So that's the first lesson today on our KW Command home screen, how to knock out our tasks and how to complete those activities and what they look like when they show up inside of the contact record. Tomorrow, we're going to continue a little more training on the Command app, so stay tuned for that. As always, great talking to you. Hope you're having a fantastic day.